Now I'm ready to move on to part two. We're going to be creating shapes in our non-objective composition. The first thing you want to do is you want to say layer, new layer to begin. Okay. So now if you look over here, I have the background and then I have layer one. I'm going to want to make a shape in layer one. So I want to make sure that I'm clicked in layer one. I don't want to make a shape on the background because I want to be able to move it around independently. So I'm clicked in layer one and I'm ready to make my shape. Over here, I'm going to go to the lasso tool. I just want the regular lasso tool. And we're going to begin by creating some organic shapes. It could be large or it can be small, but you draw the shape that you'd like. And then you let go. And then you choose a color from the color palette. And you fill in your shape, okay? Now I'm going to say select, deselect, to get rid of the crawling ants, and I wanna make a new layer. Layer, new layer. And a new layer is gonna pop up on top. And I wanna make a second organic shape. Organic shapes are freeform shapes. I'm gonna click back on the lasso tool. So let go. I want to find a different color. I think I'm going to go with black for this one and say OK. And then I'm going to take my paint bucket. I'm going to fill it in. I'll say select, deselect to move on, layer, new layer. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to continue this until you have five or more organic shapes. So these are your freeform shapes. They don't have any angles. Um, if you want to do a gradient in your shapes as well, you could do that. So let me just do this here. I'm going to do more of an orange here. Those colors are pretty similar, maybe something a little darker. Okay. So if I wanted to, instead of my normal color, I could, I could fill in my normal color. But if I wanted to do a gradient, I could do a gradient as well. Um, so go through and create five organic shapes. Don't worry about the arrangement. Um, we're going to do all sorts of cool things with these shapes next time. For today, you're just going to create five organic and then five um, angular or more geometric shapes. So now that I've created three of more, my organic, and if this was my project, I'd go through and do two more, I want to create some shapes with angles. So if I right click on the lasso tool, instead of the regular lasso tool, I'm going to go down to the polygon lasso tool. And what that allows me to do, layer, new layer, is to create a shape with angles. So wherever I click becomes an angle. And then I double click to make my shape. I choose another color. I want something still, maybe there we go. Okay, I'm gonna take my paint bucket, I'm gonna fill it in. I'm gonna say select, deselect, and I'm gonna create another shape. Remember, you can do the gradients, you can do the solid colors. Uh, you can also add a pattern. Oops, I clicked off that, so I'm just going to say Edit, Undo to bring that back. So when you're on the normal paint bucket, if you click this little button up here that says Pattern, there's different patterns that you could use. So if I wanted to use a pattern, I could fill that in with a pattern. Okay, that, so that's something else sort of cool that you can do. Select, deselect, move on. Also, you can vary the sizes of your shapes. So you don't have to have all your shapes. All my shapes were sort of medium size. I could always go in and, pattern still click. Um, I could always go in and make some of them um, smaller, make some of them larger um, later on next time. But if while you're creating them, if you wanted to make some of them smaller or larger, you could. So what you're gonna do today is you're going to use the lasso tool for every shape, you're gonna say layer, new layer to create your layers. And don't worry, next time we'll be able to arrange your layers. You'll be able to flip them around, make them smaller, make them transparent. But for today, what you're doing is you're creating at least 10 shapes. Some should be organic, some should be geometric. When you're done, say file, save, and you're ready for step three.